beginning. Good evening. We are here at our second stop with Ben from Brick Haven. And uh, I'd like to know, Ben, a little bit about Brick Haven and uh, tell us a little bit about your story. Well, we've been working on the building for about five years. It's the old city hall building. And before that, it was St. Mike's Church. So the building is built so well. We're just kind of, we're a classic place, um, reliable, nothing fancy or funky. Um, we built it ourselves. So I think we're just, we're just uh, very welcoming, very easy, very easy. That's great. So Pat, my question to you is being you are in Grand Lodge, not far from the Grand River at all, we can see it from here, is uh, water quality important to making great beer? It is the most important ingredient we use, period. It has to be consistent, it has to be reliable. Um, it really is the most important ingredient. The, I, beer is 95% water, 5% magic. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Well, the conservation district can't help you with the magic, but we sure hope we can help you with the water. We so. can do that. We That's do great. That, yeah. That's great. Well, also tonight with us, we have Tim Rutter, our DC for Eaton County. And Tim is going to uh, recognize our Murray Stahl Conservationist of the Year Award. Tim? Thank you, Sue. Um, it's great to be here. And unfortunately, we've got to do this via video this year and can't be face to face with everyone like we have been in the past but we're hoping uh 2022 annual meeting brings uh, a brighter day and hopefully uh the ability to meet back face and face with folks again but yeah i get the honor uh this year again of presenting the murray stall conservationist of the year award and I gotta say, I'm, I'm pretty honored to the person I'm giving it to this year. I met him about four years ago and been working with him on and off for the last four years. He's young, he's energetic, he likes to do a lot of research. And when it comes to the new topic now of regenerative ag, um, he's really doing his homework and he's not afraid to put himself out there and try some stuff. So he is on a small scale farming, but you know, he really has uh, big goals for the future and hopefully someday uh, we'll be farming thousands of acres in Eaton County the right way, regeneratively, and basically leaving the ground better than it was when he first started farming it. So. It's my honor and privilege to present the Murray Stahl Conservationist of the Year Award to Josh Ryan with uh, Phantom Brio Farm. Woo! Woo! Thank you. And, uh, well, I'm, I'm very humbled, uh, so thank you for that. Uh, this all kind of my, I, I guess I'd say my journey, if you will, kind of happened sitting on the couch watching a YouTube video one night and I was like, hey, this kind of all makes sense or it didn't make sense before. So, uh, you know, thank you for Ray Archuleta for making a video at some time in his history, very famous soil health guy that uh, really brought me along. So um, it inspired me and I'm in a position where I can take a ton of risk being small and it doesn't affect me. So, uh, but yeah, very humbled and uh, just, uh, like to kind of recognize my wife i wasn't into farming when i first uh when we first got married so now that i am it's uh it's kind of a whole new venue for us and uh, but she is very understanding and uh also just like the you know my grandparents were a huge influence on me and without them i wouldn't be farming at all and so and thanks to them and uh thanks to you as well as sue um always there uh Always willing to answer a question, I'll take a phone call, you know, what can we do here? Do you have suggestions? Uh, NRCS and, uh, and the Conservation District has been nothing but supportive of everything that uh, I've, I've asked of them. And uh, I greatly appreciate that. So thank you very much. Thank you. Well, well, thank you, Josh. I want to put a plug in too that any uh, landowners in the northern part of Eaton County that are renting out farm ground that want somebody to come and do it regeneratively and basically leave that ground better than the day they first started farming it. 
Josh is always looking for additional land, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. You're within 10 miles of Sunfield. Uh, let's at least have a conversation. That's great. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Josh. Thank you, too. So, Ben, oh. <laughs> what can we have looking forward to coming out of Brick Haven? Uh, we, got, we got all the beers you could want, the light beers, dark beers, um, cider, seltzer, wine. We even have a mead going this winter. Um, we just try our best to, to offer anything that people could want. Awesome. Yeah. You've got an Irish red, nice dry finish. I've got a light beer. Um, Josh has got a stout, nice dark beer, and we've got one of our fancy peanut butters. All right. For Tim. Great. Well, thank you, Brookhaven, for joining us tonight. Thank you for joining us. And here's, oh, the question. We have a question for you. If you want to win a gift certificate to Brookhaven, answer this question. If you're live, put it in the comments on Facebook, and we will announce the winner before we get to our next stop. This is the question. What does the acronym MEEK stand for? If you need any help with that, go to www.eatoncd.org. Again, what does the acronym MEEK stand for? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>